lay over the top of that value. And then we begin to make judgments about difference out of our own sense of who we are and as Christians looking at people who quote unquote are not Christian or just different. As we hope in the Lord, we will gain our strength, we will run for miles, we will stand up straight, we will are like sunglasses. They're lenses that we put on and we view the world. We have white lenses, black lenses, Chinese lenses, lenses, all kinds of lenses. Now the beauty about, let's say, a telescope is that it enables you to see. The problem is it prevents you from seeing everything. So then, the only way to see more than what we can is by borrowing other people's telescopes and looking at the world the way they perceive the world. Now, what if we did that theologically? What if we did it missiologically? That maybe the Bible isn't everything that we thought it was be because we are bound by a certain cultural bias, even the fact that we speak the English language. That binds us to a limited possibility about how fully we can understand God. As we hope in the Lord, we will gain our strength, we will run. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. So because of their, their narrow-mindedness culturally, they couldn't recognize the fact that God was doing an amazing new the problem thing. was that their way of thinking about culture and diversity was still bound up in their Jewish ethnocentrism, which blinded them to the fact that God was doing a new thing among the Gentiles. So for all intents and purposes, they were Jesus-loving spiritually empowered, mature, absolutely dedicated, born-again bigots for Jesus. <laughs> because their worldview was too small. And I think many of us have had a too small of a worldview. Appreciation for for Aboriginal Indian uh, spiritual values and understandings and systems. God's deepest desire is to see people worshiping in a diverse community. And it was very moving for this person to watch people praising God in their way. You know, just being free to be themselves. Richard, it's our honor to have you here with us. This is just a small token of our thanks and the respect that we have for you. And you can share this with Catherine. is
speak.